didn't get a raise last year? If you wanna increase your pay, you're gonna need to increase your skills. And oftentimes that's very expensive. Whether you want a degree or to take a specific training course, it all costs money, serious money. But sometimes these skills and certifications can feel like the only way to level up your career and your income. So as Vivian, your rich BFF and your favorite Wall Street girly, I'm going to help you in this video get those new skills without breaking the bank. Because being able to increase your skills and your professional network can not only catapult you into the next level of your career, but it can also help you increase your pay. I mean, it makes sense, right? The more skills and experience you have, the more money you can ask for. So let's get into it. So enough convincing has been done. You've decided that you want to up your skills, but you have no idea where to start. Here are a few great resources. Resource number one, Harvard Online Courses. Everyone knows Harvard is one of the top universities in the country, not to mention the world, but did you know you can take over a hundred of their courses for free? Yes, the same stuff students are paying $60,000 or more a year for, you can get for free. Super practical courses like Introduction to Computer Science, Negotiating Salary, and the Art of Persuasive Writing and Public Speaking, but also just silly fun stuff like Managing Happiness or Shakespeare's Life and Work. These classes and courses are a free way to help you gain skills that could help you land a new job that you love and start building a career you're excited about. This can be especially helpful if you've already been at a company for quite some time, but wanna join a different division or team and need to show a demonstrated interest in that new sector or industry. For example, if you're currently on the tech team but wanna transition into sales, taking a persuasive writing and public speaking course could really help you get an edge over another hire who says they want the same thing as you do, but doesn't have any proof to back it up. Resource number two, mentoring. The most valuable thing you can do for yourself is find a mentor. Typically it's someone in your field and has the job you know you want or think you want. This person can be the most invaluable learning tool for you no matter what age you are. If you're looking to change career paths, find a mentor who did the same thing. If you wanna become the CEO of your own company, find someone in your life who's already done it. Not only can a mentor provide you guidance and skills, they can also connect you with the right people to help make your dreams a reality. A lot of people don't know where to start looking for a mentor, but it's not as hard as you would think. If you're currently employed, even if you aren't super duper happy there, that's the best place to start looking. I've typically found that the best mentors are folks you tangentially work with, but aren't necessarily your direct boss. If you're a student, find a professor or maybe someone from an internship you connected with. And lastly, if you're currently unemployed, go through your own personal network and on LinkedIn. Of course, it's better to have a personal connection with someone, either through a past job or shared experience, but you'd be surprised at the amount of people who are willing to connect with you just based on a few mutual interests and a well thought out DM or email. Resource number three, not interested in Harvard? Well, Coursera has tons of course options as well. Some that even lead to certifications, especially in the tech space. There's hundreds of free online courses to take, but they also have some low cost options that can actually result in you getting a certification in a brand new skill. Additionally, they often partner with universities and many companies to bring these courses to you at a low or no cost because your school or employer may already pay for an enterprise license aka they pay, but you get to use. Depending on where you work or where you're studying, this could be a great way to take advantage of a paid resource for free. This option's great, especially for those of you trying to break into the tech space. Resource number four, vault guides. Piggybacking off of the last resource, another great resource that is in theory paid, but you can typically access for low or no cost through higher education institutions are vault guides. These resources are less about technical skill building and more about interview skill building. These are especially helpful for big industries like finance, law, marketing, consulting, accounting, etc. They not only have amazing primers on the industries overall, but will walk you through 80% of the likely questions you might get during an interview. Imagine walking into an exam having already prepped your answers for 80% of the test. It'll give you a huge leg up when it comes to interviewing. And even if you're not in school, many alumni organizations offer these resources. And frankly, a few of these guides are probably even floating around as PDFs elsewhere on the web. And last, industry specific certifications. 
Depending on your career, you can take certain listing exams or certification courses that usually result in a big pay jump. If you're currently employed, often your employer will cover the cost of taking these exams and courses, so it's a major win-win situation. Here are a few examples of professional industry-specific certifications that you can look into depending on your career. First up, a Google Analytics certification. In the digital realm, certifications like Google Analytics can boost your marketability in areas such as digital marketing and analytics. This is especially helpful for those who work in digital advertising and ad sales, as most companies use Google Ads to help buy and sell ad space. Another option is a Cisco Certified Network Associate, a CCNA. For those interested in networks and IT, certifications like the CCNA are recognized within industry standards. Basically, it shows that you're legit and you know your stuff. Another option, CPAs, Certified Public Accountants. While all CPAs are accountants, not all accountants are CPAs. CPAs have met state licensing requirements to earn the CPA designation through educational training, experience, and passing the CPA exam. So as a general rule of thumb, CPAs get paid more than regular accountants. In conclusion, leveling up your skills, even post-college, can be career critical, and with the rate that people are obtaining degrees now, it can really help set you apart from the rest of the applicant pool. Maybe you're unemployed right now, or just taking some time off before looking for your next opportunity, but being able to show a recruiter or HR professional that you're learning new skills and always working on yourself can be a major plus. I know this may sound crazy, but most managers aren't expecting to find someone with a perfect resume. They'd much rather hire someone who isn't afraid to learn difficult concepts on the job. Taking an extra course or engaging in another training program can really help you stand out in the recruiting process. And like I mentioned before, you don't have to break the bank to do it. Upping your skills is one of the fastest ways to get that raise or bonus. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I wanna hear all about what you're upskilling down below.